Kenya's gold. A very, very good evening, viewers, and very many thanks for making time to join us this Friday right here at Kenya's Gold, a show that focuses on all matters agriculture with the aim of achieving our goal on food security. Now, speaking of food security, this week we did mark the World Food Day on the 16th of October, and the theme this year is Right to Food for a Better Life and a Better Future as well. Now, it is the right of every single person, a fundamental right, by the way, for everyone to access good, nutritious, healthy, and affordable food. However, we still do have millions of people across the world that are facing food hunger. Why is that the cause? That and a lot more will be forming part of our conversation on the show today. Once again, very many thanks for joining us from wherever it is that you are watching us from. We do have a great show lined up for you. My name is Violetta Angina. Now, sticking to our theme of World Food Day, what we do have right here in studio is a display of traditional African nutritious food from Kienyeji store. Yes. And we do have the founder right yeah. here in studio. Thank you so much for making time. Thanks for having me, Gina. Of course, Miriam Karibu Sana. Now, there's this one particular traditional food that has been trending this past <laughs> week. And you know, I thought it's like a wild herb. I don't know. It's called the Mishevebe. 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 Please Though, help me pronounce it correctly. Mishevebe is the trending word. Okay. But we call it Disebebe. 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 Yes. What is that? Show me, it's, show me. Nigani You know, it's very interesting when you invited me. Mm -hmm. I thought about the Mishevebe trend and I said I must bring that to the studio. Right. So Mishevebe is basically just pumpkin leaves. Oh, this is it. Yeah, you want to test some? Of course. What do you mean? <laughs> you can never say no to food, can you? Oh, God. Eh? Let's try taste So, there. that is Michelle Bebe. You see, you have now the privilege to test Michelle Bebe yeah. in the program. Okay, so let's do this. Does it have milk? Because it's looking yes. milky. Yes, it's oh, it creamy. Does. Yes. Okay, okay. All right. So, this is my first time <laughs> tasting. You said it's called Dissé Bebe. Dissé Bebe. All right. That's pumpkin leaves. What do you think? It's fancy. Good. It's nice. Excellent. Mm. <laughs> I like you. it. So let us go through what else we have here. To me, this is mokimo. No, it's not. Okay, it's the maybe we say it's the it's it's the Western Kenya mokimo. Mm. This is basically sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So he ni uh, mokimo like in Western Kenya. Yes. Because the Kenya is about Western Kenya cuisine. Right. Yes, because uh, um, Western Kenya has got a very rich food heritage. Right. We've got so many varieties. Right. So this is one of the things that you can't just find easily. Okay. So we prefer to have it as one of the items on our menu. What do you call it there? Mushenye. Mushenye. Yes. But it's, ideally it's like mokimo. Yes. All right, cool. Yes. And then this is... Mishe the, Mishe <laughs> and then we have this. this that's mrenda. Very slimy. Mrenda is jute malo. Jute malo. Yes. So this is this is mrenda. Yes. What makes it this slimy? Is there like an additional ingredient or this no, is how it is? No, th that's how it is. It's right. actually in the okra family. If you uh, love okra, okra yes, the it's in the, the okra people family. people have been drinking okra water a lot lately. <laughs> but you see, for us, we, we've been eating this, so we don't need okra water. Oh, come on. <laughs> And then we have this that to me, I will assume it's porridge, but I'm ready to be surprised. What is this? This is traditional bean sauce. It's bean also, sauce. yes, mm -hmm. we call it uh, muduya. Muduya. Yes. Okay. It's one of also the items that are very labor intensive to prepare. Right. And we'll it was done traditionally. Of that. And then we have this. Those are traditional wild mushrooms. Traditional wild mushrooms. mushrooms. You want to taste? Yeah, I do want to taste, but also I'm very curious mm -hmm. because 
we have wild mushrooms that are poisonous. How yeah. do you make sure that the wild mushroom that you're serving is not poisonous? Okay, whatever we are serving, mm. these are wild mushrooms that our grandfathers ate. Right. And it's been carried to generations. Good. And these mushrooms, they come seasonally and they're picked through foraging in the forests. Right. Yes, yeah, so it's a specific mushroom and it's a special delicacy. Right. You can't find it anywhere. Safe to eat. Yes, very safe to eat. And finally, what do we have here? That is fish, mm -hmm. sun-dried uh, Nile patch. Ah, mbuta. It is, yeah, mbuta. It Good. is done in simsim, with uh -huh. simsim. Simsim, we use the oil of simsim. Right. And then we cream it. Right. Imagine how this natural that is. This is amazing <laughs> African traditional food from Kenyeji Storm. Mm -hmm. And like I said at the beginning, it is the right of every single person to access good, healthy, and nutritious food. And I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. according to several reports, including one that was done by the Food and Agriculture Organization in 2023, around 733 million people faced hunger. So we have to do anything that we can to fix the crisis. Now, still in the theme of the World Food Day, let us have a look at what some communities are doing in partnership with different stakeholders to make sure that we're making the dream of food security a reality. Take a look. In Kenya, we trust the land to provide, and hence we boast of agriculture as the backbone of our economy. But millions of Kenyans still struggle to access the nutritious food they need. This is not just an issue of hunger, but an issue of rights, the right to food, which ensures a health opportunity and equity for all. Every year on October 16th, we come together to celebrate World Food Day, a day that reminds us of our fundamental right to food, a right that is crucial for a better life and a sustainable future as well. This year's theme, Right to Foods for a Better Life and a Better Future, emphasizes the importance of sustainable practices like agroecology in ensuring food justice for every Kenyan. In Nandi County, we met with Governor Stephen Sang. As a leader committed to food security, he understands the vital role of agroecology. I want to take this opportunity to welcome all stakeholders, our farmers from across the county and across the country, all our development partners, all our stakeholders within the food sector to Nandi County to celebrate World Food Day. We have celebrated the World Food Day every year, but we have the huge um, uh, privilege of hosting the national celebrations on 18th of October 2024 at Kaimosi Agricultural Training Center. We welcome all of us to come and participate as exhibitors, as, partic as participants, as we celebrate this uh, important uh, global day uh, in Nandi County. Food is more than just a necessity. It is a fundamental human right. In Kenya, the right to food is recognized in the constitution, but this right remains out of reach for too many families. Majorly, when you talk about production, we want to look at what are the factors of production. If you take, for example, land, I mean, our population has grown 20-fold uh, uh, since independence. But uh, what portion of land have we added into the space of Kenya? None. Instead, some of those areas that were really arable before, some years back, are no longer even arable because of climate change. The point I'm trying to drive home is, while we have almost the same or shrinking area for production. We're gonna have, we're also having more mouths to feed. And that means we're putting so much pressure on a very limited space for production. So how do you deal with something like that? You deal with something like that by now deploying technology. We're gonna have to look at those technologies that allow us to produce more with less and on less space. 
Agroecology promotes the right to food by supporting local food systems. When communities grow their own food, they take charge of their health and their futures. BioVision Africa Trust plays a crucial role in supporting sustainable farming practices. We focus on working with farmers to support them to get information that is useful for them to produce for us food in a very healthy way. We train farmers and we also link these farmers to markets so that if they produce enough, they can have the extra sold to the markets. We work very closely with researchers to enable that the information that comes from research and the information that also comes from some of the very good farmers who have great new ideas that can contribute to increased and better food production to get to as many farmers as possible. Poultry farming is a source of nutrition and income for many families in Nandi County. Poultry is ready money, it's quick money. If today I go to Soko, our main Soko is Cape Terit, with a jogo and mayai, I'll sell it the fastest possible. Kama muzee bado anangangana kwa kipanda ya ngombe, akingoja ngombe kushika bay, I'm back to the farm and do other things. Farmers' access to markets is essential for improving income, reducing post-harvest losses, and ensuring fair prices for produce. It encourages sustainable farming practices, fosters innovation, and connects farmers with consumers. Efficient market access also boosts rural economies and promotes food security as well as improving the living standards for rural communities. The other very important component is that the venue of our World Food Day is Kaimosi. We have a program to modernize our Kaimosi uh, farmers training, uh, agricultural training facility to introduce new programs, specific, specifically targeting farmers in terms of building their capacity, in terms of training them on new farming uh, technologies. And that center, and, and, and that, that center will support our technological transfer to our farmers. You will be able to look at the facility and realize that we want to um, do an aggressive modernization, do short-term courses and programs targeting farmers. This World Food Day, let us stand together to promote sustainable practices for a better life and a better future. See, when uh, our farmers practice agroecology, they get to get a, a lot of products, you know, high productivity, they get a profit. Uh, now with high productivity, we get to uh, get food that can sustain us and food that we can also sell to earn income. As we look to the future, the vision is very clear. A Kenya where no child is hungry, where every family can enjoy the bounty of our land, and where food security is not just a dream, but a reality. Such a great piece there, capturing the essence of World Food Day. And just in the bid of sticking to the effort, we do have a display of different African traditional food from Kenya. Just right here from, I was calling it Mokimo, but they told me it's called Moshenye. Then we also have Mishevebe, the common one that has been trending this entire week. We also have Murenda, the slimy, sticky one. And this is the bean sauce. And we have the wild mushrooms as well. They confirmed they're not poisonous as much as they're wild and very finally we do have uh, the Nile patch now the vision remains absolutely clear we do want a Kenya where no child stays hungry this is very important because it is estimated that globally 20,000 children under the age of five years die of hunger so what exactly is threatening our ability to provide food for ourselves and remain self-sufficient that is the conversation we will be having when we come back from this short commercial break. But before we go there, how about we tease the farm joke of the day? You know how we do it right here at Kenya's Gold. And the question that we are asking you is, 
When do you go on red and stop on green? Remember, it's a farm joke of the day and I'm gonna ask the question one more time. When do you go on red and stop on green? Unona vile kwa traffic lights, you stop on red and go on green. This is the reverse. You go on red and stop on green please start sending in your answers across all our social media platforms on instagram at kenya's gold our sms line is 22422 and our email is kenya's gold at royalmedia.co.ke see you after this break